Hey guys, so today I don't have any makeup on. You will see why from the title, I think. I saw Squibbles Reads do this, and I see a lot of makeup gurus do this as well, but I haven't seen a lot of booktubers do anything like this, and it's kind of like a chit chat, get ready with me, I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna film some other videos, and I figured I would do my makeup on camera with you. Um, I am stealing your idea, thank you so much Joss. We're just gonna get started with makeup, because the whole point is for me to chit chat while I'm doing my makeup, not to chat without doing makeup using this mirror. Let's see what happens. I'm using this uh, Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. Again, not a makeup guru. I love makeup, but there's a reason I have a book channel, not a beauty channel. Um, so something that she said in her video that really resonated with me was it's really hard to talk about books and, and feel passionate about reading and things like that when you aren't reading. Um, and I mean reading for pleasure, not just not just reading for school. Because I do like reading for school and I like the books we read, but there, there's a different feeling to reading for school because you have to be reading. I've never been a person who just hated reading for school because I was reading for school. Like I still love a lot of the books I've had to read for school. And when I read for school, I mean, a lot of the times we're having academic discussions about it. Um, I'm writing papers on it and it's not so much reading for pleasure. So it's, it's really hard for me to feel passionate about books and want to talk about books with you guys when I'm not reading for fun. And this past semester and honestly senior and junior year, were really, really rough for me in that regard. I mean, I read, but not a lot, and I didn't read a lot of books that I loved. I mean, I liked some of them, and they were fine, and I enjoyed them. It wasn't like I hated them or anything, but still, I just, it, it's been hard for me to feel motivated to film and talk about books with you guys when... I'm not reading and I really loved that she she pointed that out and said that because she said she she feels the same way It was just nice to hear someone say that and hear that I'm not alone And it really captured my issue recently with doing booktube because as you guys know I have not been Making videos regularly. I stopped making wrap-ups a few months ago um, that was also because I was in a dorm and I didn't know when to film and things like that, but I don't, it's just been really hard to find motivation to film because I feel like I'm coming on here and I'm saying words, but there's nothing behind the words. Like, there's no passion anymore. I feel like I'm just kind of robotic and saying stuff because I feel like I have to continue to make content and I'm starting to read again for fun. I'm just afraid it's gonna go back to the way it was when, when I was not reading a lot. Understandably, since I haven't really had time to make a lot of videos and I haven't been reading a lot, I have lost... Well, I haven't really lost subscribers. I've plateaued and I've lost viewers, which is different than losing subscribers because I never really cared about my subscriber account. Like, I know a lot of people really do and of course I love... I mean, you do feel a sense of pride when you, when you see the number of subscribers you have and that you have a lot and there's a lot of people following you and it's it's great and like listening to what you have to say and and discussing with you and that's really fun for me it was more about talking to people and responding to comments and that kind of stuff and i really feel like i don't get that anymore i don't i don't get a lot of comments maybe i'll get to a video i mean i don't even get that many views and again views was never that important to me but the problem is is that when you don't get a lot of views you don't get a lot of comments either and i remember there was a point where i would get 20 something comments on a video and it was so much fun for me because i got to have all these conversations with all these great people and it was really really fun and i really really liked it and i liked that that's why i made this channel and i feel like i started at some point over junior and senior year when I got really stressed and I was really upset and I did go through some some tough times just like mentally and also physically uh, senior and junior year so I um I definitely started making more fluff content and it was less about what the quality of the content was and it became more about okay I have to put something up. I'll just put up something random just to, you know, be able to put something up. And it was always wrap-ups and TBRs, which I love doing, and those are really fun. But if you've only read, like, one book, not that great quality content. You know what I mean? So I just really felt like 
my heart wasn't in it anymore and that's honestly a big reason I think that I have lost views. It's honestly been because of that because I mean if your heart isn't in it your viewers can tell and I've said that so many times. That's been one of my main mantras since I started YouTube was that if your heart isn't into the content that you're making no one's gonna want to watch it because if you don't like making it and you're not having fun making it who would want to watch that? That's not fun. I don't watch YouTubers who make content because like oh they feel like they have to. They make content because because they like it and they have fun and it's, it's their passion so I've been feeling a little icky in that sense but I, I've been working on it. I just really appreciated that Joss made that video because a lot of the times I, I watch these YouTubers I know that in real life their lives aren't perfect and I know that they have struggles too and they're they're not always super passionate about what they're doing and they have low points and points where they feel like they're plateauing in regards to subscribers or views or comments but my problem is I've plateaued at subscribers and I've decreased in views and comments and I get it again as I said before it's just frustrating and I remember how much work I had to put into it when it was a school project I don't know if you guys remember those of you who are currently watching but my YouTube channel started when I was a sophomore in high school. I'm currently a freshman in college. And it was a school project. I created the YouTube channel. I mean, I had wanted to do it not as a school project for a very long time. Um, so it's not like I just did it for a school project. Then it did turn into something more, but I'd always wanted to do it. And I kind of not use a school project as an excuse, but kind of pushed myself to do it because it was a school project. And so I really I was so excited to do it and I had 20% of my class time to work on it. I had 20% of my class time to read and edit videos and film and upload and that was one of my assignments and and that's why I was able to dedicate so much time to it and junior and senior year I came to the realization I wanted to continue it but I did not have the time that I had sophomore year to be able to do it. I will always love books and I'm not this is not my like announcement that I'm ending my channel because now um, I want to continue. I'm not just going to quit now because it's difficult. It's just frustrating because <sighs> I worked so hard that year to get to the interaction count, I guess, the interaction count that I had and it kind of lost it because I had to neglect it my junior year. I, I don't I don't mean this to be a complaining video, I'm just disgusting with you. We're friends, right? Um, I, I just felt really like demoralized and that's why my YouTube channel has dropped because I just didn't have the energy or the time to really put effort into it and no one wants to watch that. I don't want to watch that. So I'm really gonna make an effort um, during the year this is also kind of a 2016 reading wrap-up. This is not my best books of 2016 that I read. This is just kind of a reading wrap-up. I am not going to do a reading wrap-up of the goals that I had in 2016. I didn't really succeed with most of them. It was just not my year for reading, not gonna lie. I had a lot going on. Um, and I just don't want to look back and tell you all my goals and be like, yeah, no, I didn't succeed in any of them. I know I succeeded in a few. It's hard to, to look at your successes when you also have some failures. And I usually, as a person, I put a lot of emphasis on failures over success, which kind of sucks. And I'm working on that. That's one of my New Year's resolutions. I want to give myself more credit where credit is due. Um... Because in general, I don't think I do that enough for myself. I want to give myself some time to take care of myself and not stress so much about every little thing in life. As I said before, I just wanted to comment on that statement that Joss made because I really felt understood in that moment when she said that. I really felt like she knew and understood and and it was nice to hear that someone else is experiencing that you know the whole not feeling motivated to film or read and I'm finally starting to get that back I just think the problem was I was putting a lot of pressure on myself I was gonna try to do my eyeliner here but I don't think I can so I'm going to go do it and then I will be right back okay I am back so do the eyeliner with eyeshadow I like the smoky look. It's not too intense, although I do like some liquid eyeliner every now and again. I decided I was going to do some 
shadow eyeliner, if that makes any sense. So what I was saying earlier, I don't know if I'm cutting that part out or whatever, but um, I have decided to give myself some channel goals and I'm going to give myself some very relaxed channel goals for 2017. Oh god, it's 2017. That's crazy. Um, I am going to try to upload at least once a week, if not twice, but I'm going to aim for once a week. If I were going to do once a week, I would do Sunday evenings. And if I were going to do twice a week, I would do probably sometime on Wednesday and sometime on Saturday. Um, and then, I don't know, I'm still trying to decide. I want you guys' feedback on whether or not you would like once a week or twice a week. That would be very helpful for me. Um, and I've also decided I'm going to do a wrap-up and a TBR every month, and my goal is to read two books for pleasure every month. Just two. Hopefully I'll read more than that, but I'm going to aim for two because otherwise it's it's questionable. I don't want to give myself too much pressure because last year I was going to read like 20 books by one author every month plus other books, and it's like, girl, it's a little... It's, it's stretching it. I mean, maybe over the summer, but not not during the school year. I just don't have time. I would like to see what kind of videos you guys would like to see from me. Honestly, I just want to talk to people. Like, I just want comments. I don't even need a lot of viewers. Like, if I get five comments on, on a video, I'm happy, even with one comment. But I just, I made this channel to reach out to viewers, and I feel like I kind of, that part kind of died and I lost sight of what I wanted the channel to be. And I'm just looking to find it again. And I just figured if this could help anyone else that's feeling the same way, if you were feeling kind of lost with your channel, if, if it was succeeding at one point and then it kind of plateaued, or if you're just feeling a little demoralized, you're not alone. Other people feel like that. Um, and and honestly, the way the way Joss made me feel after she said that, um, it was it was really, really great. Because, and if I can make someone else feel that way too, um, that's, that's honestly all I want. Because I think it's really important, especially in this community, to stay united and realize that not everyone is having this perfect time um, with YouTube and, and for some people it's it's hard and they're struggling and it was okay at one point and now it's dying a little bit and that's okay. That was my get ready with me chit chat thing inspired by Joss's Quibbles Reads. Please check her video out because she's fantastic and I love her channel. She's such a great YouTuber. Make sure to check out all my social media links down below. Thank you again so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.